Welcome back to another video guys, my name is Daryl and today I'm going to be showing you 15 different WordPress extensions for Google Chrome. Now most of you are probably building websites on Google Chrome, I mean, no one uses Microsoft Edge anymore. There are people out there who use Firefox, but for most of us we all use Google Chrome, right? And one of the biggest pros of using Google Chrome is that we can have a lot of nice Google Chrome extensions that will kind of help us utilize our WordPress websites. So in this video I'm going to be showing you 15, actually 16, but I just decided to say 15 because it just sounds better, right? You don't you don't go somewhere and say like, oh, top 19 this, you know, it's 15 or 20, right? So there are 16 uh, extensions in this that I'll be showing you all that might actually help you with your WordPress design process. So let's go ahead and go through all of these extensions. Now, of course, all of these are free. You just need to add the extension onto your Chrome browser. So first off is what font? Have you ever been going to websites and you see a font, you're saying, what the hell font is that? I like that font, but you can't find it well this extension will actually allow you to actually find the font on any page just by simply hovering over it and it'll let you know what font it is so I've actually seen that you know I've actually gone to websites where I wanted to see the font but I couldn't you know and it's a really cool plugin but you do have to like activate it and deactivate it because it does get a little annoying so uh, just use it when you need it but ultimately if you're looking for a font on another website this is the extension for you next is express curate now this right here will actually allow you to get ideas for your content. So when you're kind of making content, it's kind of hard to kind of, you know, decide what you really want to talk about or what you want to get inspiration from. I think that's what they call it now, inspiration, but most of people just copy, you know, but you know, whatever, you do what you got to do, you know. Uh, over here, you can see this extension will actually start basically analyzing web pages as you browse through them and suggest articles to kind of get ideas from. So when you browse other articles and you're looking at stuff, it'll actually give you ideas on stuff to write about. So that is something that's really helpful. It'll help you get that mental block. You know, well, most writers have the mental block. This is designed to get you over the mental block. Next is built with. Have you ever been to a website where you want to know what is this built on? Is this WordPress? Is this is this uh, Joomla? Is this is this HTML? Uh, the built with extension will actually show you which other websites are using certain platforms. So for example, they're saying, oh, this right here is using blogger.com. This one right here is using wordpress.org. This one right here is using, uh, I mean, people out there still use Ruby on Rails, you know, I mean, uh, all sorts of different uh, platforms. It'll basically let you know which platform that site is being built on. So if you're kind of wondering, hey, is this built on WordPress? You can go ahead and find out with that extension. Next is related content by Zamanta. Now this is very similar to the other article of the um, Express Curate, except this will actually kind of help you guys with, it'll Im improve your blog posts or related posts, images, and also links as well. So right here, you know, you're looking to improve your SEO, uh, related content is already helping 300,000 users, although it only has 10,000 active installs, <laughs> but it's still a really good uh, extension that I've seen. So, and of course, they're saying it works with all major platforms, WordPress, Blogger, we're gonna ignore WordPress.com. I'm not a big fan of WordPress.com. I'm just, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm like Batman, you can say. I'm kind of like, like, uh, I'm like, I'm like your best friend, but also your worst enemy at the same time. Because WordPress.com is just a disaster. Like I, everyone that goes to it comes to my channel and was like, why did I give them my money? And I'm like, I don't know why you did, man, but use WordPress.org. Go with SiteGround Hosting. So be sure to check out uh, related content by Zamanta. Next is the WordPress admin bar control. Yes. Yes, this is needed. You ever been you ever been building websites and that little brown, the little the, the WordPress dashboard bar pops up at the top. And when you're building websites, it'll actually interfere with the height, with the slider, with the padding, with the margin, with everything. With this extension, you can actually get rid of it. So this right here, you can actually get rid of it so you can visually see the site how it's supposed to look instead of going back and forth. So um, that right there will actually help you with the process of building websites because I know that little bar can really, it can really cause some problems. You know, when you're building sites, you know, it's, you don't know if it's accurate because of that damn bar. You're like, I want to get rid of it. This extension will allow you to do that. Right here is, uh, next is Evernote Web Clipper. This is something that I should use because what this does is that it actually takes content from other websites and clips it onto your Evernote. If you guys use Evernote, it's a great program. You know, if you're not using it, get on it. It's free. I use it right here on my website. I actually use it for my tutorials. I actually schedule all my tutorials. I talk about stuff to write about, to talk about, and you know, there's so many different things going on in my brain that I don't really have time to remember it, so I just throw it on Evernote. And I just throw it on Evernote, because you know, you ever been working on a site and you got like 50 million tabs open? It's like, dude, just put it on Evernote, you know, just put it on Evernote, you know? So uh, it's an extension where you can just basically take content from other websites and add it onto your Evernote accounts. 
Um, has um, almost 5 million active users, so it is a very popular Chrome extension, so be sure to check that one out. Next is WordPress Plugin Security Checker. You ever been kind of skeptical about plugins and you're not really sure if you should install them on your website because they might be, uh, you know, it's, it's a gamble, you know, some, some new plugins are a gamble. Uh, this extension right here will basically let you know if these plugins are safe. So it'll scan them basically saying, okay, this plugin is safe to install on your WordPress website. Uh, next is Grammarly for Chrome. Now, I'm going to step back here and say, although this is a very popular extension that a lot of people use, it is slowly becoming outdated because a lot of themes like Divi theme, Elementor, even Brizzy already have the autocorrect inside of their page builder. So when you spell something wrong in the Divi theme, it'll actually let you know. However, if you're not using the Divi theme, if you're living under a rock and you're still using Visual Composer, well, you can go ahead and, and this this is a great extension for you. You can use uh, this extension and let you know when you spell something wrong, it'll let you know. So you can just go ahead and, and correct it on your website while you're building it. It also works for emails as well. So not just for web design, but also for emails, and for you know, for whatever else you're doing out there, I don't know what you're doing, but whatever else you're doing, it'll it'll help you out, you know. So next is the WordPress Codex Cheat Sheets. Now, for those of you who are always searching for CSS commands, but you're developers and you're looking for like the WordPress Codex commands, this right here is a great solution for you because it'll actually display all of the um, all of the um, all of the, the tags that you need and everything to help you develop your website. So it is something really cool. I see the CNN logo right there. Oh, very. Ugh. Let's go next page. Next one. Keywords everywhere. Keyword. Keyword. Okay. I think right here they're just keyword stuffing. Keywords everywhere. Keyword tool. They could have just said the keyword tool everywhere, but you know they want to stuff keywords to get higher in the search engine. I think so. But anyways, this right here will actually give you ideas and it'll actually do keyword research for you. Now a lot of other websites have those you know those paid solutions where they're basically saying oh you know we'll help you do keyword research that's what this chrome extension does right here it lets you know about you know the cost per click for these uh, keywords it'll give you ideas and it basically will tell you the keywords for that website now i do believe they do give you only a certain amount so if you want like up to like i don't know if you want like 500 keywords or something like that on the website i think you do have to pay but it can just give you kind of an idea on you know what you would want to have for your website so Right here, it says free keyword search volume for 15 websites, Google Analytics, Google, Google Console, Moz, Majestic. What is Majestic? I don't even use Majestic too much. But right here, you can kind of see that it does give you uh, related keywords and what people are searching for as well to kind of help give you ideas when you're creating articles or you're doing keyword research. Next is the WordPress style editor. Now, this right here will save the CSS changes made in your developer tools directly into the style sheet of WordPress. So again, this is probably for you know people who are using a lot of CSS, but again, a lot of other themes out there today already have the CSS commands inside of them, like the Divi theme, the best theme ever, but um, other themes don't have that. So if you're using like a basic page builder, if you're using, I think Elementor doesn't have that yet, that is one edge over Divi and Elementor. So if you're using other things like um, uh, Brizzy or another theme, uh, they don't have the CSS commands inside of the theme, so this will actually help you uh, insert the CSS changes directly inside a, a theme or page builder or, or whatever else you're trying to use. Next is Colorzilla. Now, you ever going to go into websites and you kind of like the color and you want that same exact color, but you don't know what it is? Well, this extension will allow you to actually copy that same exact color and it'll give you the color code from that website. So that's just another way on how to get inspiration, you know, how to copy, you know, other websites, <laughs> you know. Uh, next is the WordPress Site Manager. Now this right here, this is a very interesting plugin and I've only used it probably once. I only used it once maybe around three months ago, but basically it stores all of your WordPress websites inside of a the Google Chrome extension and you can actually even make changes in the theme options from the Google Chrome extension. So it's a very interesting plugin. It allows you to access all your websites. And when you're building a lot of websites, you know, you can always use uh, Manage WP. You can also use this Chrome extension where you can kind of, you know, switch through your websites to make changes and stuff like that. But it's just an alternative, just a solution if you want to go ahead and, you know, browse around and use it. You know, you can go, always go ahead and use this Chrome extension. Next is the WordPress keyboard shortcuts. Now I'll be very honest. If you're gonna use this, you better love it because basically it's going to let you know what keywords to use for your WordPress website when you're making stuff because a lot of themes out there don't have these yet. Uh, Divi does, you know, Divi also does have uh, the shortcuts, but I personally don't use them because 
I'm just too lazy, man. I'm just too lazy to learn all of them. But there are people out there who really like to use a keyboard shortcut. So if you want to go ahead and use it, this is a great plugin and a solution for you. Next is WP Sniffer. So this right here, obviously, it just finds out what WordPress theme someone's using. So you basically install this Chrome extension. And when you're going on other websites and you know that they're using WordPress, it'll detect the WordPress theme being used on that current WordPress website. So then you can go ahead and copy them and get inspiration and ideas. You know. So that's uh, WP Sniffer. So that's 15 plugins right there. But this right here is 16. Now, WordPress plugin search by Adendio. So this right here will basically replace the default search for plugins on WordPress.org and it'll give you other, you know, other plugins, other related plugins as well. So it does give you more information about the plugin you're viewing. It also gives you related plugins to that specific one. So I know when you're looking for something like best real estate plugin and you're just kind of tired of seeing the same one over and over, this extension will actually give you recommended ones that are very similar to that one you're looking at to kind of, you know, help you find other plugins on WordPress.org. So I just thought that was something very useful. Um, it doesn't have that many users on it, but you know, when I'm looking for something, it's I come across a lot of the same plugins and I'm kind of like, I know there's plugins out there with very low active installs. They're probably new, but they're just hidden. So this extension will actually help you kind of filter out and find new plugins and maybe a, a miracle plugin out there. You know, there's a lot of good developers out there that are just hard to find, you know, because one of the biggest problem with you developers, this is a message to all you developers that you guys do not market at all. You, you make the products, but you don't want to spend a dollar marketing it. I don't know why. You just throw it up on Envato Market and don't make any money. It's like, all right, well, whatever. Just might as well throw it in the trash. <laughs> you know, but, but that's a good tip for you marketers. Don't feel afraid to market your WordPress plugins. Like, Jesus, come on. You know, it's, it's, we're going in 2020, so you don't market crazy. Anyway, so that was my list for the best WordPress extensions for uh, Google Chrome. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I do have an article on it, but uh, my content writer, uh, she did write this, but we have to update it because we took out some and we were going to add some other ones in there. So, you know, she did a really good job. You know, she did a really good job. So uh, be sure to check out this blog. It'll be in the it'll be in the description below as a link. I, it's a tongue twister. You know, guys, it's Monday. You know, sorry. <laughs> you know? So uh, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this video helped you out. Maybe you can install some of these extensions and I will see you all in the next video.